Hi everyone, welcome back to another video or welcome to my channel if you're new. I don't really know what I'm gonna title this video yet. I'm leaning on the idea of doing a morning and night routine in one. A two-in-one routine video. I feel like my morning routine and my night routine don't have enough. Is that a bug or a spider? No, that's a hole in my wall. To do in them, to make it like their own standalone videos. So you're gonna get two in one today. You're gonna see my night routine and then I'll segue into my morning routine. So it's currently Wednesday. I just got done with my internship for the day. I interned throughout the week and so I also have a job on the weekends. Your girl has two jobs. When I have a stable, you know, work schedule like my internship, it's the same hours every week. I really prioritize having a good routine so that way going into the weekend and having like a flex fluctuating schedule that I, you know, never have the same hours and stuff. I like to carry over that same consistency and that routine, if that makes any sense. I try to stick to my routine as best as possible. My night routine starts out around 4 p.m. when I log out of my internship for the day. I am basically at a computer all day long, and then I also make YouTube videos in which I have to edit on a computer. So I feel like I just am always looking at a screen, and I do online classes where I have to be on a computer. I try to not only get some fresh air after my internship, because I'm usually in my room or just in my house all day, but I also like to get my screen break. And so two things I like to do is read and journal. Let's go to my backyard and let's do some journaling and maybe some reading. I'm now in my backyard. I don't know if I've ever filmed out here before, but I have a very nice backyard. I like to spend time out here after I intern because I just spent all day working in my room or in some part of my house that I just need fresh air. And I also try to stay off my phone and any screen during this time. So journaling has been something that I've really enjoyed and it's something I've had like a weird relationship with, I guess. Sorry, the wind I feel like is really loud. My allergies are also starting to act up, so I don't know how long I will be out here. I find myself just gravitating towards wanting to journal of like something's going on in my life or I just like need to let it out in some capacity. I usually will journal about it and my journal has just become my safe space. We're gonna do some journaling. If you wanna journal with me, we can journal together grab your journal here are some prompts that I like to follow when I'm in the mood to actually journal something specific and have like organized thoughts we're gonna journal pull out your journal let's journal together and let's let out let's let out some thoughts Now, dinner time, it's five o'clock. We're eating relatively early. I feel like my family and I usually don't eat dinner until around six, 6.30, but mm -hmm. it's barely five and we're eating. We have, I don't know how well I can show this, pork, rice, and vegetables. I feel like you can't get more simple than that. I know it's gonna taste good because my dad is a great cook. Dinner taste test. We're gonna eat dinner. Got the whole fam. Got the whole uh -huh. fam. We're gonna go eat dinner. It is now a little bit later. It is 6.50. I have been honestly rotting in bed for the last hour. I feel like daylight savings has really messed me up. I don't like how dark it gets so early. It is, yeah, not even 7 p.m. and it feels like 10 p.m. We are still drinking my ginger ale Olipop. My sister got me this really cute glass from Anthropology with little mushrooms on it. I'm obsessed. I originally wanted to come and lay in my bed and read, um, but... That just did not happen, it wasn't in the cards. Now we're gonna read. Since the night is still young and I really don't have anything else to do other than my nightly routine things. Thought I would talk about the book that I'm currently reading. I love watching and consuming book content. I am such a big reader myself. I have my Goodreads always linked down below if you like to read. I'm trying to incorporate it more into my content. I feel like, yeah, like I talk about, am I in focus? I like to incorporate the books that I'm reading into my content, but I kinda wanna do that more regularly. The book I'm reading right now is called Twisted Love. I will not lie. I have kind of been on a smut kick recently. I went through a really bad reading slump. My friend actually got this for me as an early birthday gift. My birthday isn't until December. The city where this book takes place is actually somewhere I'm going very, very soon. So she wanted to send it to me so I could like read it. Well, she wanted me to read it while I was there. But I read 10 pages and I was like, I need to read this now. I love to chill on my bed. Honestly, I don't do much. I'm very much a homebody. I'm in my homebody era. And I truthfully can't complain. It's great.
make a single serving. I'm gonna make a pop tart in the air fryer. I saw this recipe on TikTok, I'll link it down below. I'm a little nervous. We're gonna try it and test it out and make a brown sugar gluten free single serving pop tart in the air fryer. If it tastes bad, this is not going in the video. Okay, you guys, hello. Okay, so let me cut the Australian accent. Um, I tried to make so said gluten-free single serve brown sugar pop tart. And this is what I ended up with. Um, I have no idea how we got here. Here's my pop tart. I'm gonna drizzle on my frosting. Okay, let's try opening this, this pop tart. Okay, you can see like the inside. Okay, okay, it cooked. You know what? This is not bad. This is not like awful. It's not awful. Does it look unappetizing? Uh-huh, a hundred percent. But is it good? Absolutely. I would keep talking, but my mother turned down back on the TV because I was taking too long to vlog, so sorry, mother. Let's go and play Dress to Impress, which is a game on Roblox for 10-year-olds. And I'm 21. It is now 11. I just got done playing Dress to Impress, which is probably my favorite part of my night. It's so fun and entertaining, and my friend and I love playing it. it is the game designed for children? One could argue yes. I enjoy it so much and you basically, a short synopsis if anyone cares, are given a theme and you have to come up with an outfit in five minutes and then you have like a little fashion show and you vote. I was playing that for like an hour and a half. I can just feel myself needing to get off my computer. I, again, I try to limit my screen time when I'm not working but I just, it's hard, it's hard, I will not lie. I brush my teeth, if you couldn't tell, I have my retainers in. It is time for my nightly vitamins, what can you see? My nightly vitamins. I take two vitamins. I take magnesium glycinate and L-theanine. I take these to help me get a better sleep, um, to just help me relax, and I can definitely notice a difference if I take them or if I don't take them. The longer I wait before I go to bed to take them, the better, just because they just kick in once I hit the pillow. And because I wake up on the earlier side to go on walks and work out in the morning, I, I'm just like so tired. At the end of the day, I'm knocked out. I'm really bad at taking pills and my family makes fun of me okay one down we're done with the pills i need to go do my dishes from my little pop tart thing and then we'll get into bed Thursday. It is now Thursday. I think it's 7.45. Today I had a little bit of a later start because I honestly could not get out of bed, but I usually wake up anytime between 7 to 7.15 and I go on my morning walk. I was kind of experimenting going to the gym, doing a morning walk, and I just have kind of fallen in the pattern of going on walks. They're just like the best way to start my day. I feel like I'm able to just decompress and get some sunlight in and fresh air before I you know get to work for the day I really have to push myself towards the end of the week because this is my fourth day going on a walk and I am wanting to go back to sleep I'm like fighting going back to sleep we are gonna go and start our day a great morning walk um I just put on a little workout I brush my teeth I will usually eat a little something before I go I prefer a banana but these little go macro bars in my room and i usually will just eat this before i go on a walk let's go on a hot girl walk we are currently on my hot girl walk i've been on my walk for like 15 minutes now i usually walk between maybe like two to four miles it really just depends on the day so today i probably only have about 45 minutes of a walk because i have to go back to my house shower get ready for my internship i'm already out of breath um yeah i just love to go on morning walks i feel like it's the best start to my day 
Also, there's something about just feeling the sun right when I wake up. Yeah, sometimes I'll listen to a podcast. I haven't found a good podcast though. If you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. I've been on a Lana Del Rey kick. I love Lana and her music has been my morning walk obsession. So my arm is getting tired. So I'm gonna go finish up my walk. I just got back from my walk and I showered. I just did a quick body shower. I'm gonna see how much I walked. Let's see. So today I did two and a half miles, which is what I assumed. And that is a fine holiday drinks. We're gonna have to get a holiday drink soon, which is fine with me. That's a pretty good walk distance. And, and I forgot what else I was gonna say, but we did two and a half miles. That is, that's pretty good to me. I'm gonna show you guys my skincare routine. Since I said earlier that I'd show you the products I'm using and stuff like that. I do love the Ordinary Niacinamide and Zinc. This is so perfect for my skin. I have mixed oily and I guess like combination skin, oily and dry skin and something I learned from the extensive research I've done on skincare TikTok is oily skin is actually a result of underlying dry skin so it's like the oils are to combat all the dryness um, which I did not know I was not aware of niacinamide is perfect for my skin I've been loving this stuff I usually put this on after I will go on a walk and then I'll use something a little bit more hydrating before I go to bed so so last night I used the Bioma Hydrating Serum. For my moisturizer I put on top of the serum, this is the Soonjung from Amazon. This is a barrier intensive cream. This is my favorite. This stuff is so good. The one thing I love about the skincare brand, I'll link it down below, is it's very good for sensitive skin. I think it's hypoallergenic and it has no fragrance. My skin is extra sensitive and so I have to really watch the products I use. There, It is perfect and you don't really need a lot. It goes a long way. Since I'm gonna do some makeup today, I wanna make sure my skin is extra prepared. And then for some eye cream, I like to use two different ones. I will switch between the Glossier Full Orbit. This stuff I actually love so much. And then this is the Yerba Mate Wake Up Gel from Good Molecules. I'm almost out of. I really need to get a restock. And that is my skincare routine. It is really simple. I used to use like a lot more products and I had been experimenting with different things for a while, but this is kind of, of what has been working for me. I definitely have some acne scars going on here and there, but it's really helped me minimize my breakouts and stuff. I also think something that's not really talked about a lot when it comes to skincare is, you know, your gut and what you eat really reflects on your skin. I was not aware of that. And there's also just so many different things that play into skin that we don't really think about when it comes to like hormones and things like that. So if you see someone with really nice skin, at the end of the day, you could probably follow everything they're doing and still not have that skin type there's so many other things underlying that go into it and that's really helped me with my skincare journey because I've compared my skin to others and wanted to have their glass skin and stuff like that and just know you're on your own skincare journey and I have definitely dealt with my end of acne and I've dealt with lots of breakouts and it's not fun at all if you are in that boat I wish you the best but that is yeah my skincare routine I am now going to hop on to my internship for the day and eat some breakfast. I have some pre-made breakfast from yesterday. I usually will just make like an egg scramble. I think I eat eggs like every day. I love me an egg scramble and I had one yesterday and I made too much. So we're going to eat that for breakfast, get some protein in and get working for the day. I will see you in a little bit. We are now ready for the day. I don't know when I last vlogged. I have been interning. I just quickly got dressed. If you are not following me on TikTok or you don't watch my YouTube shorts, I actually have a little Thursday date with one of my friends, Bushra. We usually go to a coffee shop and then do something fun on my lunch break while I'm interning. So today we have another one of those. For my outfit for today, I'm wearing this top that I thrifted, but it's by the brand No Boundaries. I'm wearing this little black skirt from Target. And then I'll probably wear like my Birkenstocks or my boots. We're going to this area in San Diego called La Jolla, which is super pretty. It's on the coast. I kind of want to give summer beach vibes even though it's november it is still 75 degrees we're gonna do that bush was actually in the room right now she wants to say hi hello <laughs> she filmed my room tour for me if you haven't seen that we're gonna go i will bring you along with me but that pretty much completes my morning routine aspect of this video i go on my walk i eat breakfast i do my internship and sometimes i'll do fun stuff like this so let's go and have a fun little morning
That was the end of my vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.